So just to start, um, Charles Bronson is one of your most violent figures within the UK. What was it about his story that made you want to make a film about it? Well, I wasn't really interested in his story, but I used his, his um, the metaphor that he had from going from Michael Peterson to Charles Bronson to make an autobiography of my own life. Yeah. Okay. And how did you feel when you were making the film? Was there any moments within the story that you were worried about at all? No. No, I was pretty... took a lot of artistic license, but enjoyed every moment of it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And what was the overall outcome that you wanted from the audiences? So how did you want them to feel at the end of the film? Well, I'm not a political filmmaker, so I can let that to people to make their own interpretation. Yeah. So, Bronson is the film that many would say Tom Hardy's made Tom Hardy's career. What was it that made you choose him to play such an infamous character? He's just so goddamn good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. His performance is incredible. Would, would you like to work with him again in the future? Yeah, I would love to work with him again. Yeah. You've made some amazing I film films. Terrific. Theory. Yeah, definitely. You've made some amazing films featuring some intriguing characters. What inspires you to make films about them? Um, I don't know. It's a difficult question to answer. <laughs> um, I just make films about what I would like to see. Yeah. As a huge fan of Drive, I was wondering if you could tell me where the idea of making the book into a film came from, and will there possibly be a sequel? <laughs> It's a long story of how it got made, but it's all about me and Ryan falling in love. But there will not be a sequel. Oh, okay. And can you tell us anything about your next film and what it will be about? I'm editing it right now, and it's going to be very, very good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs>